right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, Tom Aspinall. He has put UK on the map. And certainly Michael Bisping and Leon Edwards deserve a lot of credit, but now the UK has a heavyweight champion, and he hasn't even arrived at his fighting prime. We heard a lot about the grappling of Tom Aspinall and just how good he was in that realm. His striking is outstanding. He's got the power to go with the speed. He moves as well with the footwork as any heavyweight on the roster. And that's really the big challenge for the opposition here tonight. Power to be sure on the other side. How are they gonna keep up with Tom Aspinall with the lateral movement, the jab, and everything else that he presents and poses on the field. Eventually, if this fight hits the floor in transition, Tom Aspinall will be able to find a submission. <laughs> Trying to establish the jab early on here. Johnson gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Great shot from the top position. And now he's got the bat. There it is, now he's going to mount. Johnson's in half goal. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Aspinall is trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. Did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Johnson's able to transition back to side control now. 
You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Under three minutes to go in round one. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Johnson. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Johnson. Making all these shots count. Johnson's back inside control. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. That was a slick transition. Relentless pressure from the top by Johnson. Aspinall's eye is starting to swell shut. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bump, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Now Aspinall's going for a choke. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flew. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden, his opponent's in control. How good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Good work from the top here by Aspinall. Another ground and ball strike lands for this man. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Under a minute now to go in this one. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Done. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss it, eh? and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Aspinall's in half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of oh. seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Oh. All right, listen, you did pretty good that round, but I need you to keep space now, okay? Do not be content to fight when he's grabbing you. I need you to avoid. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land a straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Demetrius Johnson going for the takedown, nothing doing there. in that defense. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. I mean, the 
whole fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. He's in trouble. Oh! Oh! Shoot over. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land ground and pound here or if you're going to go to a submission. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees to either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to control in, but there are options for finishes and are options for positional advancements if you're patient. The ground strike's starting to pile up. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Johnson. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Johnson's pass attempt denied. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Ooh, going for a leg lock. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, might get the win here by finish. Oh, out of danger now. It looks like he might get a win by submission instead. Right back to his feet. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output. Oh, he's not going to get deep. Submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 37 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out. Oh!